Hi everybody, welcome back on the channel. Today I'm doing a video that I didn't think I would do actually, but in the end I thought it was quite useful to do. I'm going to talk about those little guys, the Jabra 65T Elite um, wireless headphones, Bluetooth headphones. They're tiny little headphones that you put in your ear. We're going to talk about them. And I'm going to tell you a few reasons why I didn't choose to get the AirPods and I chose those little guys instead. Now before I start on the review, I want to answer the question, why are you doing a tech review? Why are you doing, um, uh, why are you doing a video on uh, headphones when the channel is about time heroes, protecting your time and protecting your space? And for this I have a very very simple answer. As you guys know I go to the gym every day at 6 a.m. and I go there really early so that I can have the space, you know, because it's a very big gym and at 6 a.m. it's practically empty. There's the people working there, there's one guy that cleans the place and usually there's two or three other people and it's 1600 square meters so it's a huge huge gym and why I go there very early is so that I can have my own space, so that I can be in my own bubble, have my workout, think about the things that I want to think of, then go to the steam room, etc. Now, I really like this gym. I really like the gym part. I really like that they have those vibration plates that are really cool. I really like that I can be alone in the morning there and I really like uh, their relaxation area because uh, after a workout I like to recuperate and this is where I do my deepest thinking, like in the sauna or even better in the steam rooms. But there's one thing that was really, really annoying to me was the quality of the music that they put on the speakers. Now, it's very loud and it's the trashiest, they put the trashiest songs that I didn't know it existed, such trashy songs. I'm usually pretty open-minded on music and yeah, on any kind of styles of music, mostly, you know, uh, not all of them, it's not true, but those songs are so trashy, it's really polluting uh, my brain, it's like, it sounds pollution, it's really, really annoying, it really pissed me off, and so I decided I needed something to get back into my space. To be honest, I don't think that the people in the gym understand the contents of those songs because we're not in an English-speaking country. A lot of people don't speak English. You might find this weird. I find it a little bit weird. I think that everybody should speak English in 2018. Maybe it's, um, I don't know, it's a personal thing. But anyway, I don't think they understand the contents of those songs. But it really, it really bothered me. It really bothered my focus, my concentration, because I like to think of my project. I like to think of my business. I like to think about what I'm going to say in those videos. I like to, you know, get into my space and having this pollution, this sound pollution invading my space was something that was very, very unpleasant. And I used to wear my um, ear pods, not air pods, ear pods from my iPhone. And this is another subject that we can talk about, it's really have nothing to do with this channel. Why does an Apple give you air pods when you pay a thousand euros for a phone? I think it's pretty cheap. They took out the mic, they took out the, the mini jack, you know, like give us some wireless uh, headphones so that we can have the full experience. Uh, you know, I think they're really, be, they're really being cheap on this one. But anyway, I don't really like those ear paws. I mean, they're okay, but uh, they don't block any of the exterior sound and I need to block the exterior sound so that I can be in my space. I do have a pair of Bose sound cancelling headphones they're really really amazing in the plane, in the train, on the bus um, and they're really cool in the office also. I have a second pair at work but I don't like working out with such big things. I like to be more free and those little guys are really cool because they're really really small. I'm opening the box and they're this size, you know, so you just put them in your ear and that's it, you don't even see it. Whether on the AirPods they have this design that you like or you don't like, I don't. I personally don't like it so much. We kind of like it now because it's Apple and Apple, everything's nice with Apple, which I truly believe, except for a few things, those included, the, the AirPods, I don't think they're such good design. And the Jabra Elite 65T were a little bit more expensive. I bought them for 159 euros on Amazon. I will link it in the description below so that you can check it out for yourself. 
um, and the AirPods were actually a bit cheaper on Amazon right now that are hundred they're 120 euros um, I think it's the same ratio for dollars I think they're 120 or 130 dollars and here they're 160 170 dollars on Amazon and so they are a little bit more expensive so they have pros and they have cons so the biggest reason why I got those for the instead of the AirPods is because they go into your ear and they isolate you much better. The, again, this is not a tech review, so I'm not going to unbox the whole package. Although, where is it? It's here. I'm not going to unbox the whole package, although I can tell you that, yeah, it is not the Apple experience of opening a package. Uh, I struggled, I broke it on the side. Uh, it, was not, it was not the best unpackaging, unboxing experience ever. Uh, there's also a little thing that I, I don't really really like but I understand what they do it it is not actually so easy to open the box you really have to like press it and now I'm used to it so it's a little bit better but when I first got those it was hard to open the box uh, but the real advantage is that you can put it inside of your ear it won't move you can do sports you can even be in the shower because they are water resistant they're not waterproof you can't go inside the water for this you would have to get the Jabra Elite Sports, but those are okay if you go in the shower. I don't take my headphones to the shower, and I'm in the shower, I want silence, but you could if you wanted to. Uh, this box has twice the charging capacity. Now, there's the, the disadvantage of those compared to the AirPods syncing with different devices. If you're syncing it only with your phone, with your iPhone, then it's perfectly fine. You know, you open the box, Boom, it detects it, it's logged in, you're on. But if you want to change from your phone to your computer, then uh, it takes some maneuvers. You know, you have to uh, turn off the Bluetooth of your phone, you have to turn on the Bluetooth of your uh, computer, you have to repair it every single time, and that can be a pain and a waste of time. We don't like wasting time on this channel. But, you know, I, I don't really care so much, to be honest, because those are only to be used on the go. The second disadvantage, uh, it's a little disadvantage, but it's still a disadvantage, is for a lot of people it might hurt your ears. Um, having them inside of the ears all the time, I've tried having them all day for a few days, and now the inside of my ear here hurts a little bit. So this is not great, the AirPods are definitely a little bit more comfortable, but they don't isolate you from the sound pollution and isolating yourself from the sound pollution is what why I'm making this video and why I chose to get those little guys here. The other little thing I like is the design. It's much more discreet than the AirPods. You don't actually, you don't really see them. I mean, with my crazy hair, of course, you wouldn't see them at all, but you would see the, the AirPods better. Um, so I'm putting them in my ears now and it's already blocking from me talking. I can't hear myself talk so well. And the other day I had a really uh, important phone call with an investor and I really wanted to have the best phone call experience. I didn't want to stress about the quality of the sound that I have in my ears. I wanted to focus on the conversation. And those are really, really great because if you touch them twice, then it activates the microphone from the, the earpiece and you hear yourself from the microphone inside so that you hear yourself very well as well as the conversation. And you can do this also when people are talking to you and if you don't want to take off your headphone, your, your headpiece for some reason, you can just double press it and then you can hear it. Uh, something else is you can change the volume of your songs, you can also skip a track and etc with those two buttons. Again, this is not a tech review, I don't want to get into the whole details, but you can do it. The only thing is you do have to press quite hard, and after some days, uh, your ear does hurt a little bit from pressing, uh, pressing the earpiece a little bit more, so it is a little bit uncomfortable on that side. Also, you can only use one earpiece. Although it will turn off if you take one off, you have to like press it one more time so that it continues playing with only one ear. I think it's very practical also for a phone conversation, although I do prefer having both, but if you're having a conversation with somebody else that he, not only that, because he doesn't know that you're switching the, the microphone on so that you can hear him very well, it still seems a little bit antisocial and a little bit rude if you just keep your headphones in your ear. Now, again, this is not a tech review and I don't want to, us to go into tech reviews and talk about details, although I love tech, you know, I am an iOS developer and I really love Apple products, I really love Apple products, uh, I've been using their iPhones for ages, I decided to become an iOS developer to develop apps, 
apps for the Apple ecosystem because I really, really like the Apple ecosystem much, much more than I would like the Android uh, ecosystem. So it does seem a little bit weird that I'm going to spend 50 euros, 40 euros more on those little things than the AirPods because the AirPods are very practical. If you go from your iMac to your MacBook Pro to your iPads to your phone to your watch, then it, it's just seamless, right? But if you're like me and you just want to play those from your phone, it also works from your Apple Watch, of course, but if you just want to play the music from your phone and then once you're at work once you're at home you have another pair of uh, headphones that are on top of the ears so that it's a little bit more comfortable it sounds a little bit better also I mean it can't be as good as a full-on big pair of headphones like those Bose that cost 150 euros um, but uh, I think I think this is the choice to go uh, I really think that you should invest uh, if you can, you know, if you can afford it. If you can't afford those pairs, there are some cheaper pairs. You just have to uh, search them on Amazon. Uh, it's just they, they just have to be like this, you know, like in ear that you actually put it inside of the ear, not like the. I don't have them here actually. They're they're in my gym bag still. Um, then the Apple headphones where it doesn't isolate from anything because you do want to isolate yourself from the sound pollution. You do need to get into your space, into your bubble, and you can't if people are pandering unwanted input. We already have a lot of input that is not good for our focus, not good for our productivity, not good for our space management. We have already so much going in um, consciously that we want to protect ourselves for when we don't want to have all this input coming to us. So this is a little thing to think about. Uh, go on Amazon, you know, if you don't have a pair, uh, get yourself one. If you want those ones, I really recommend them actually. They're very good, the sound's very good. One last thing, uh, I've noticed that when I watch YouTube videos with those little guys on my phone, the sound is not perfectly synced. Now, I don't know why that is. I've tried on Netflix also, same thing. The sound is not perfectly synced. Yes, I do have Netflix. Uh, this is another story, um, but the sound is not perfectly synced. I don't really care so much because first of all, I don't watch Netflix so often. I do watch a little bit of YouTube here and there, especially for tutorials. Um, but you know, if I'm gonna watch a tutorial, usually I either have those ones and I can watch on my computer, like my real headphones, or I just listen to it like this. You know, I don't have to have those all the time. Also, I don't like watching videos when I'm outside the house. I think it's silly, we need to learn how to get bored. This is going to be one of the next videos actually. Uh, learn how to embrace boredom, learn how to, you know, do nothing. Wait for the bus without taking your phone out, or without watching a video. Learn how to ride the train without watching a video. Learn how to, you know, learn how to do it how we used to do it before, so that you can limit the amount of input and again, which this is what this video is about, limit the amount of pollution that you get in. So if you can afford them, I really highly recommend them. You can get them uh, on Amazon, for example. I'm sure they have a store also. Uh, in any store you can get them, really. I like to get my things on Amazon because it's very fast. Uh, and you can uh, get them here. I got a link below. Um, full disclosure, there's it's an affiliate link, so you don't pay more. It's exactly the same for you, but I get 7% from Amazon when you make the purchase uh, for a recommendation. So this is pretty cool. So this is why I'm putting some links down below also so that you can just find it very easily. So go get yourself a pair if you want. Um, and yeah, that's it. Take care and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.